Ew, uh, coronavirus. Coronavirus! <laughs> hey, welcome back to our Stupid Reactions Unit. It's Corbin. Coronavirus! And you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter. Juicy content. It's so Thank you for us for on Patreon. We appreciate your patronage. And follow an official Twitter account. Ring the bell to be part of the notification squad. Bang! To get all those sweet notifications. Ooh, he's banging. Wait. And uh, follow us on our personal channels as well. There's different stuff going on there. Uh, yep. ho hopefully Rick's link is working. We'll see. Yep. Uh, <laughs> sometimes it's working, but it's always in the description. Or just search it is. Rick Siegel if it doesn't work. That's all <laughs> you have to do. Anyways, today we are doing a movie review of our fourth Malalium film. I, um, hey, I, I'm not even going to try. Huh? You've been keeping track? That was our fourth? Well, yeah, because we got uh, yeah. Kabbalah Nights, Virus, yep. the last yep. one, and then this one. <laughs> the last one, which is <laughs> good luck with that one. I'm not saying that one. But also, <laughs> uh, I know I mispronounce Malalium every single time, but I never remember how to say it, and I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> every Isn't single it? time. No. And yeah, it's we, not Malayalam? I don't know if you're saying it right. I know I say it wrong every single time. Anyways. Oh. But uh, this is our first venture into uh, the uh, legendary actor of the uh, industry. Uh, yep. Say his name. Mahano. Is that the correct pronunciation, guys? Because I am not. I'm not 100 percent sure. Uh, but I think we've seen him actually in some trailers. Uh, I believe I could be totally wrong, but I think we've seen like him in trailers. But this is our first venture into him. This is actually one of the first movies we ever received. Uh, from a stupid baby, uh, they sent us this one, and then we got to see notice the uh, we did the reaction to the dancing eyes. Remember that one, Rick? I one hundred percent do. Which was which was from here. Yeah, and now I feel yeah. like that. Yeah, Lucifer. I think he was he was in Lucifer, and we reacted to that trailer. Anyway, yeah, and we've been we've been getting we've been getting tons of requests for a long time. Uh, from folks saying, please react to him. He's a legend. He's like so, the big B of South India. So we wanted to do it for his birthday because today is his birthday. So happy birthday to you, sir. Happy birthday, sir. But uh, so this will be 100% spoiler. We came out in 1999. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. Come back, please. Thank you so much. Yep. Uh, but it's called Vanaprasam. Right? So, I think so. Uh, an illicit relationship between uh, Kalsa. Kali, dancer, and a young woman from an upper caste family results in an illeg illegitimate child. He faces hardship when she refuses to let him see their child. Uh, and it's directed by Saraji in Karun. And I believe, unless it's the, yep, it was composed by... The wonderful Saji Zakir Hussein. Saji Zakir Hussein. And uh, when I heard those little sweet little fingers on those tablas, I knew exactly who it was. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, so Rick, initial thoughts. Um, I'm actually uh, trying to find it. I, I've got, there it is. I was looking for it to make sure I'm looking at all the right credits on IMDb uh, for him, especially for Mahanlo, who please help us if we're mispronouncing the legend's name. Mm -hmm. um, so on the one hand, I feel like she was maybe 75% of the film. Um, I, I couldn't even begin to appreciate because I'm so ignorant to all <laughs> of the richness of what they were referring to with, with um, this, all, all of the references to the characters of Arjun and the story behind Krishna and the, what the director, I am sure, and what uh, Staji Zakir Hussain were doing and what was being done by the actors in terms of being reverent to it or, or doing something. I, I really felt, on the one hand, I need to come back in 10 years after I have a deeper, better understanding about all of the richness of that history, even something as simple as being able to recognize his portrayal. We said this in the, in the reaction to the trailer. We're, we know nothing about that art form of that style of acting and performing, so we don't have anything to compare it to other than to say, looks believable to me, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, but on the other hand, 
putting that aside, I, I really enjoyed watching it. I enjoyed watching him. I thought he was very believable. Mm. Uh, I thought the ladies who played opposite him were very believable. I had, like most films we often see, a lot of the supporting people I didn't have uh, a great time with. But the majority of the leads, and especially him, I'm pleased to say, I, I could see what people were talking about in terms of his emotional availability, his believability. I didn't see indicating. So on the whole, I... I really liked it and I'm looking forward to the day I love it, which will probably be when I know a lot more about the culture and the references. Does, does yeah. that make sense? Oh yeah, hundred percent. And I, I, I agree with you. Uh, I, I really actually enjoyed the film. It, it was a very artsy film. That's what it felt mm -hmm. like. It almost like a French film sometimes. Uh, Great example. Yeah, you're like absolutely a, right. Almost like a French film in terms of you're absolutely it's, right. it's, it's very slow. Uh, and it's all about these small, nuanced performances of the yes. actors. Um, and he was, I felt like, really beautiful in this. Uh, I agree. I thought he, he did really nice work. He gave me, one, he looks, not his acting style, but he looks like um, John Belushi a little bit. Uh <laughs> every, You're absolutely like, right. Like, uh, like in, uh, what was that movie? Um, the party one. What is it called? Animal House. Animal House. Uh, it, like, it almost looked like him just with long hair in Animal House sometimes. Not the actor. That guy's a comic legend. Um, but they just look like him. But his acting style reminded me actually a lot of Marlon Brando and um, James Dean a little bit. Uh, yeah, in terms I would agree. His acting style. Very small and nuanced. Uh, yep. But you could... There was always something going on behind his eyes. Behind the eyes, yep. Uh, and and that's 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 the mark of a, a great actor when you can tell something's going on and he doesn't have to do anything. Um, he, he's not indicating I'm sad or, <laughs> or stuff like that. That's he's, my that's my favorite thing about his performance mm -hmm. is the fact that I saw, like I said a second ago, there was zero indicating, there was zero cliche. Mm -hmm. It felt. It felt deeply grounded. It felt like his his process is very much rooted in method, or as Shia says, method adjacent. Method adjacent, um, yeah. and like the, the kind of acting that we like, the kind of yeah. grounded. Uh, even even when he was doing the art form, which what we know about it is uh, very, um, it's facially exaggerated. Yeah, uh, I could see what was going on with his character, like when he said, "I'm not going to play characters anymore that are." soft and, and emoting soft emotions it's now going to be uh, powerful emotions from now on yeah and he started to do that i could see the rage that was going on inside the man yeah absolutely yeah and, yeah and i i totally agree with you in terms of there's just some stuff that i uh, in our young ignorance of the culture and this felt deeply in the culture of um um malalium or cart I believe they were in Karnataka um, most of the time. I believe. I could be totally wrong. Uh, I don't know. But um, obviously in that art form and everything like that, um, it felt deeply in the culture of it. Um, and in terms yeah. of the way they talked uh, about yes. religion, about uh, stuff like And honestly, if it took me a while to figure out the reason that they didn't want to be doing it was because of caste. Uh, it took me. It took me a second. I thought it was like. Uh, I thought it was something else that they. they... I figured that out. I, I figured that out. Unfortunately, by uh, reason of I thought. I thought both of the ladies, um, his wife yeah. that he has. That, I thought she was just a, a beautiful, beautiful lady, and I thought she she did good work with what she was given, mm -hmm. and uh, I. I, I saw just in a lot of things, I could tell that that was an arranged marriage that he had been put into and that it was from a lower caste and that this, the other woman, uh, the, um, his, his love interest, Sub yeah. Subhadra, um, that she was wealthy and was from an upper caste. Yeah. What I didn't pick up on initially was that the reason he hadn't seen the child for so long was by her choosing. And yeah. I actually, I wanted to know so much of what was being referenced that I went, you know, I looked up uh, the histories of, of Arjun and all of the story behind that and from the original Sanskrit and this, there's just, it's encyclopedic, the amount of yeah. information that's in there. Yeah. And I, it, it felt like, I don't, you remember when you were a little kid and, and the adults are talking 
And you know what's important? Yeah. And you wish you knew what they were talking about, but you can't wrap your head around it. And you want to be one of the adults at the table. I felt like that watching this. I was like, I want to, this is important. And I feel like I should know what this is. And I'd have no idea what they're talking about. <laughs> yeah. And, <laughs> and obviously we could appreciate the norm, like the human aspects of it. They have like, they're in a relationship and he's having a, an affair with a, a, right. a person. I actually thought what the director did one with, and the cinematographer with a lot of the cuts was genius. Really uh, nice. I like, there was a ton of cuts in this that were just so good. Like the one with the flames that it yes. kept going back to the flames, but then it kept going back to them. And then I thought yes. the, it was beautifully, like I had to figure out for a second. I was like, okay, wait, what? When they had sex, but she yeah. had all the green oh. stuff all over her face. Yeah, I thought that was genius. Beautiful. Uh huh. That yeah. whole, that whole Both. sequence and the way they did it to indicate that's what just happened, I thought yeah. was so so good. I thought both the fact that his colors were all over her, mm -hmm. and also the way she was reacting, her response was so, um, <laughs> for lack of a better term, her response was so overwhelmingly post coital warmth and like luxuriating and almost drunk and basking in what she got to experience. And I also thought it was a beautiful, it was simple, but a beautiful thing the director did when she's watching him perform and he has the woman character with him and he slowly turns and then comes around and it's her. Yeah. I thought that was really delightful. Yeah, he. Uh, I, they had a bunch of cuts and, and shots in this that were extremely beautiful. I thought the scene where they weren't even talking to each other, they were they were moving through the motions. Yes, to show she's on the stair. Yeah, yeah, that was a great... I didn't understand, well, obviously, what they were saying, but I was like, <laughs> this is quite beautiful. One, the shot yeah. and the, the symbolism of it all, I thought was genius. Uh, and I thought that actress throughout the film did a phenomenal job uh in in, in, in portraying it yeah I'm, I'm like you though it was like i parts of it it's just our young ignorance i don't know the culture as well as we'd like to and so yep. obviously if we did i feel like we'd pick up on a lot more and we'd like it even yep. more and like i said we like this film i believe i believe yeah. you like this film as well it's oh just, i did obviously this is one that i feel like um you you will appreciate it even more if you know the stories. So like, we yeah. like this most is, of the time this the story kind of a, that they were talking about, we had no idea what that story was. This is kind of a, um, this may be a lame comparison or maybe it'll work. But it's almost like, you know, growing up, you love Looney Tunes cartoons. Mm -hmm. And then when you're an adult, you look back and you realize, oh, no wonder I didn't recognize what those jokes were. Those are for the adults. <laughs> Because <laughs> yes. there's a lot of jokes that go way over a kid's head in the Looney Tunes stuff. And then when you're older, you realize, oh, that's what they were doing there. That's funny. Um, <laughs> yeah. But, and Zakir Hussein's score, I thought, was um, one of my favorite things about the score was how hauntingly distant everything sounded. Mm -hmm. um, and he did for the score... It reminded me a lot of the way Satyajit Rai, and I you know we reference him a lot, but the way he used music so simply and so atmospherically, mm -hmm. this had that feeling. It felt like they were going more for an ambiance and a sense of you being immersed in this world and this place mm -hmm. than, than uh, and uh, you know, it also helped that this art form is dependent upon so much of the playing of instruments like yeah. that yeah i i felt multiple times in this like it was almost sachajit rai-esque uh yeah uh, i felt multiple times while watching it and that's a compliment because it is it just it felt like you, almost like a like you're watching a fly on the wall sometimes uh yeah which is really a, a great form of film that you can just sit and watch and be fully entertained and also just like watching great performers perform uh, which is a, a wonderful treat to behold. And so I'm glad we, yeah. we, we got to watch it, even, uh, even though I'm sure we missed so much of the film in terms of like what exactly they were talking about and, and the little nuances of it, just because yep. we're dumb. Uh. <laughs> yeah, and it, it, it encourages me <clears throat> to get to know more about the stories and, and, and over time, I absolutely, I really mean that. And maybe, 
maybe five years to revisit this and after having learned so much more. And I, the, the walk away for me, because we've been hearing so much about Mahanlal and, mm. you know, the legend that this guy is. So I, I think we came in with freaking high expectations oh, for this oh, guy I to did. knock it out I, of the park. I, people, because every single time we watch a Malalium film, or sorry, I, I don't know how to say it, um, a film, and we, especially if like we, we rave about Fahad Fasil and we think he's a phenomenal actor. And then people are like, right. Fahad Fasil is a kid compared to, I think this is a quote, Fahad Fasil is a kid compared to Mohadal or whatever his name is. Uh, yeah, Mohadal. Like, that's, 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 you're setting the bar really, really high. Because that's one of our favorite actors, or at least one of my favorite actors that we've seen out of India. And I think he's so, so talented. To call him a kid compared to somebody else, I don't know if that is the correct assessment of that. <laughs> I know what you're saying. and I Well, imagine. it is as far as his resume. That's <clears throat> For sure. For sure. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, he's a phenomenal actor. I would love to explore him more. Uh, and I know there's, she has so, so much work. And so down below... Please let us know what his next film should be. I don't know, because I think this one was recommended, is recommended to us the most, but mm -hmm. I know he has a ton. And so. Yeah, he's what, got a huge resume. His, his resume is as big as Amazon Bakhchan, man. It's just massive. Yeah, so let us know um, what else of his we should watch uh, next. Yeah. What is his best performance? Uh, what is his best film? Because obviously, sometimes those two don't coincide all the times. No, but you gave him about as, for those of you who, who wouldn't know, I think the majority of you would, and I wouldn't disagree at all. Corbin gave him about as high a compliment as you can get in terms of his naturalness and what's going on by, by actually putting his name in the same sentence as Marlon Brando and James Dean, because that's about as natural as it gets. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then again, so, uh, <clears throat> just as a, as a closing point, I hope I pronounce her name right. Sohasini, who played Su Subradra. Oh, phenomenal. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I thought she was, I was waiting. This is a role that she could have easily, and it's a testament to the director as well. It's a, it's a role that could have easily gone over the top and cliched. And I didn't feel that she did that at all. I, and I got the fact that she had become infatuated with the character more than she had become in love with the man. Uh, and I got the heartbreak she felt at the end without it being some kind of a cliche. Uh, so the, the, those lead actors were for me and the directing and the score were what made this thing so enjoyable. And I can't, I can't wait to watch it again when we know a whole lot more. <laughs> yeah. So let us know down below what uh, next Malalim film and also uh, his or her films that we should watch next down below. Uh, so we can uh, explore the man and the legend more. Happy birthday. Also happy birthday. Da din din 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 da din din